Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how to collect account information along with the user registration stuff all in the same form when a user signs up. Um, so oftentimes people are looking to figure out how to update the sign up page to also include the account information um, so they can register the user and do all of that at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through that. So it's pretty straightforward on how you're gonna need to do this. Um, the first thing that we can probably do is go into the concerns um, for user accounts and we're gonna need and accepts nested uh, attributes for, and I'm gonna do this for owned accounts. Um, and the reason why we're gonna do that is because we are going to create an account and we want the owner to be set. Um, and so by doing this, when we have our form updated for owned accounts, it will automatically set us as the owner when we create that account record. Then we're also going to need to create an account user because that's the join table on accounts so that we can access all of those and be marked as an admin um, by default. So from here, we need to actually go into our registrations controller so we can create a new um, account. So what we can do is say resource.owned accounts.new in our build resource. This is gonna run um, when the user is signing up and it will have already taken the stuff from the hash in the session to register the, or to create a user in memory. It won't have saved it yet. So our owned accounts will create one in memory and then we can go to our registrations new and add a field here for that. So we're gonna say, uh, f.fields for owned accounts do give it a name of like a uh, for our account form builder and then we can change this to you know um, account name we'll call it and then for autocomplete we don't want it to be our name um, we want autofocus to be set on that one and then our placeholder here will be like, you know, your business name, like Go Rails. So we'll just put that in um, for our example. So let's refresh our page and make sure that we have our account name um, set up here. You can go and inspect this and make sure that it's uh, field name should be uh, user owned account attrib accounts attributes. And that is going to be important because that's gonna be the permitted parameter we have to accept on the server side. So if we go into our application controller, we have some overrides for device for the uh, permitted parameters. Um, these are ones that you configure in your application controller generally. Um, so we're gonna add to the signup keys the owned accounts attributes. So owned accounts attributes and that is owned accounts plural and then underscore attributes um, because we have a has many association and we just need to accept the name um, for the account as we go and that will go ahead and accept those parameters so that is good and we can try this out now but it's not going to work like you would expect it to and the reason for that is we need to go to our registrations controller and actually make this a little bit more uh, complex because um, we need to instantiate a new owned account but only if there isn't one already um, and that is going to make sure that when we have a failure, like error validations on this, it's not going to create two accounts on accident when we already submitted one and then we instantiated the second one on accident. So let's instead change this code to account equals account, uh, resource .owned accounts first. And then we'll set account equal to that if account is nil. So uh, we'll try and find the first one. If there wasn't, we are going to create a new one and we can do probably this for a little bit cleaner of a setup. Um, that's going to instantiate a new one. And then we can also say account.account.new account 
users.new user is our resource and admin is true and this is just going to make sure that when the user is created they are uh, an admin of their own account um, so let's go ahead and try this out we'll say chris uh, go rails chris at go rails Dot com and actually that should be my email password and we'll check our box and submit um, email's already been taken so let's do chris2 at gorails.com as you can see I've been testing this already and there we go and now we are signed into the go rails account which is our only account um, if you would like to you can also have you know a call to the to create a default personal account if you still want to have that. But this is going to effectively override all of that because user accounts is only going to um, create a default account if there isn't one. Um, so that that is only going to run if there isn't another account at fine. So you can update this code as needed if you want to have still a personal account or whatever, but um, that is how you would go and collect your account at registration so that you can have the user fill out that information when they sign up. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know on the Jumpstart Pro um, forums and uh, we'll be happy to help out.